Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install MySpeed on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let you all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be working on uh, installing. It's my, my speed, a speed test analysis software that shows your internet speed for up to 30 days. Um, it generates clear statistics on speed, ping, and more. Automate speed tests allows you to set time between te tests using Chrome expressions, add multiple servers, configure the health checks, notify you via email, signal, WhatsApp, and Telegram in case of errors or downtime. Test results can be stored up for, uh, for up to 30 days. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's got a pretty nice UI to it. So, we'll get to installing it. So I'm going to start on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to how to install my speed on Portainer down here. In the end, I'm going to go to Docker and Pose. So version 3 of Docker and Pose is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the service underneath the services is called my speed. And then the image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image. And then it's using the latest tag since there's no tag on it. Um, the por uh, ports are 5216 is on the host side. If this does collide with another port, you can change it to like 5217. Uh, uh, on the container is 5216. You cannot change the cont container's port though. Okay, now I'm going to set some uh, volumes. So it's going to use my speed data, the volume down here. It's going to use the driver as lo local. Um, and then my, my speed data is on the container side. And then I'm going to set a restart policy of unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get it installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to go into Portainer. We're going to go to Local, and then Stacks, and then Add Stack up here. And then we're going to name the stack My Speed stack and then we're going to go to web editor down here we're going to paste in our docker compose and then we're going to scroll down deploy the stack and then now it is successfully deployed so we can get to look on uh, the stack options so i'm going to go in the stack now uh, my speed stack right here and then you can stop this stack delete the stack create template from the stack you can also go in the editor and you can change anything on the Docker Compose and then you can press the update stack. Now the repull image and redeploy uh, means that it will repull the image and, uh, off of the registry, uh, 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 update the local cache and get it redeployed and it uses the current tag, which is the latest tag right now. So um, that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm going to go in the container down here, and uh, you can see the status of how much minutes it's been running, the, the name of the container, the ID. Um, you can start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, and duplicate slash edit. You can see the logs right here, great for debugging, inspect, stats, console, attach. You can also create an image, and then um, you can scroll down here for container details like the image and um, port configuration on the host side and in the container. 
the command, a node server, the entry point, the environment variables, the labels, the restart policy where you can cha change it and then press the update, the volumes that were created on the host side and on the container, and now connected networks. It created bridge network uh, for a my speed down here. So that's a little about the container options. So I'm going to go to the a web UI now. So you can put your port tainer's IP address in there and then do 5216 on the end for the port. And now, now I'm gonna go to it. So it, it does, we do need to accept the terms of service and the term and the privacy policy and the EU LA for UCLA because they do use UCLA speed test service. So I'm gonna accept it. And you can also run the speed test up here. So I'm gonna run it real, real quick. It's using the speedtest.net in the background. So now we have one test. Zero failed test, average duration, ping, upload, download, failed test, speed. Got a nice graph right here, a manual test, test duration, ping, download values, upload values. So now we'll go over the settings a little bit. So you go to this cog right here. You can change the optimal ping, the optimal up speed, the optimal down speed, the recommendations, change the speed test server, uh, change password, set frequency, and um, you can go in here, continuous, very often, default, rarely, very rarely. So let's go back in the cog. You can set period. You can export the test, pause test, integrations. So Discord integration, a Godify, health checks, Telegram, webhooks. And then you can change language, switch views. So you can have a test view like this. So you can switch it back to the test statistics view. And then you can see about the project. So that's a little bit about the UI. So I just went over step by step on getting my speed running on Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our discourse. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.